morning. Welcome to a weekend in our life. It is a chemo day here. Um, if you're new around here, we are a family of five. My name is Sarah. Our oldest child, he's four, he got diagnosed with leukemia in January of this year. We also have a two-year-old and a one-year-old. Um, you've already seen all of them. Um, and today is a chemo day. Today is a very long chemo day. It's Friday. Um, it's an eight-hour day. And so I thought it would be just really interesting to take you on a weekend in our life when we have chemo. So um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what today's chemo looks like. We've had one of the chemos before, but then we're getting a second chemo. That's what's making it such a long day. Um, and so I'm not really sure the side effects. We just had a chemo that made him very nauseous and he threw up all the time. Uh, so we're hopeful that that is not what today is like. Uh, my husband and I are splitting the day, so my husband is doing the first four hours, and then I'm going to take care of some stuff for the, the home, and then um, we'll, uh, I'll pop over and finish out the day with Zeke at the hospital. What am I going to say to you? What was I saying to you? Oh, my husband and I both work for a church, so we get Fridays and Saturdays are our hour weekend. So today is technically an off day. We're really grateful that they the hospital... Uh, was able to kind of move his chemo this block to Friday so that we didn't have to take time off work because things were getting a little dicey <laughs> with both of us having to not be at work a lot. So we have to go to Kroger and get our groceries. I typically shop for an entire month at a time and then about halfway through the month I have to like go to Kroger and just pick up a couple staples and then uh, we need to get home take care of like some home stuff like some dishes and stuff like that and uh, then I need to probably do a little bit of work if I can and then if I'm lucky I'll get a little bit of me time before I uh, have to go to the hospital But if not, it'll be fine because we'll just be sitting at the hospital so I can like read or whatever Okay, let's hop over to Kroger and then we will Go from there grocery store I am going to film mm, all of this that's food these aren't going to make it in just because this is not we would count this under diapers and wipes and this is a gift for our nanny because this is what she loves to drink so um separate budget so I'm just going to film the things that go under the grocery budget that's all going to be in a short so if you're interested in what I get like midweek mid-month go check out my shorts I'm dumb and left multiple bags at Kroger. <laughs> so I'm gonna go drive back there right now and go get them. Back with my groceries. Did I cry about it? Yeah, a little bit. Here's the deal. It, is, it, is it really a big deal? But I had to drive like 35 minutes to like go back and get two bags that I forgot, which is all my own fault. No, in the grand scheme, it's not. But when you're like dealing with something like childhood cancer, any like other little inconveniences feel astronomical, okay? They feel so far out of proportion. And it is because in our case, my cup is so full, like so full, uh, with working full time, having two other little kids, and then having a kid with leukemia and leukemia treatment on top of it. Like we are like barely surviving, barely surviving. And we're doing pretty good to survive. Like I'm still cooking dinner. We're still a loving household. My husband and I still have time for each other, all the things. But we are so at the edge of our ability to make it that when something little like forgetting your groceries happens, it feels almost like the end of the world. Um, 
Anyways, so now I'm actually gonna film this and then I'm gonna try to get a little bit of work done. I'm actually probably gonna go to the garden and not do computer work and then take my computer to the hospital and try to work there. It's really hard for me to work in the hospital. I think it's just like the emotional duress of the hospital it makes it really hard for me to concentrate on anything that requires like my attention. So gonna film this and then gonna get my attitude together. Okay. All of this stuff was $119. on the ground because our freezer keeps leaking we're not sure if it's because it's too full but it leaks even when it's not too full um i mean we've had it for five years so we've gotten a pretty good lifespan out of it for a modern appliance i think i'm gonna spend my time in the garden like i mentioned since i will be inside for such a long time in a little bit so i need a basket for all this produce I'm back more prepared this time so we don't like grow our own food just because we're like you know it's because we're lazy honestly like it takes a little bit of work in the beginning of the season and then for the most part the garden is fairly hands-off and I can just come out here and get fresh produce kind of whenever I want and so it's just a really good feeling it's why we garden truly and it's just so nice to like get my hands in the dirt and have something like tangible that's like growing in such a hard season so these are ichiban eggplants i got a couple other like regular eggplants back here growing and then i have some of these um these little like honey nut butternut squashes i've got tons of them and they're obviously not close to ready so we're just coming out here picking and seeing what i have have some peppers here but they're just not quite ready these are like a these are a sweet banana but they're not ready yet got a bunch of cucumbers coming in i don't know if you can see them over there i do have some that are ready on the other side so i'll go pick those and then my sunflowers are looking good so excited for this girl it's Here is the veggie haul. Unfortunately, this guy's no good. He has a big rotten spot on him. So, a um, couple of zucchinis. We're just at that point in the season where it's like, oh my God, there's a huge zucchini. Where did it come from? A couple of cucumbers, some eggplant, some squash, green beans, handful of cherry tomatoes. I'm ready for more of my tomatoes to be ready, but it's just taking a minute. So I think what we'll do for dinner tonight is grill off some of these vegetables. I'm going to use some of these in tzatziki sauce later on. Um, but grill off some of these vegetables. I have a fresh loaf of sourdough that I made and some burrata. So we'll just kind of have like a crudité dinner, you know. So now I'm going to make a coffee, pack some snacks, and get ready to go to the hospital. <laughs> 
And they go out and they serve the city all week. And when I pulled up, they paid for my parking. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not crying. I cried. I definitely cried. First, so full cool. circle. probably have like an hour left. Zeke is just hanging out, watching something on the tablet. He got this cool horn today. Fun <laughs> horn. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's gonna be really fun when we get home. And then we've been playing with this viewfinder, which I can't reach right now, but I think I have a video of it. So that's fun. <laughs> So we're just gonna keep hanging out. All this chemo's done, and we are just waiting on fluids. <laughs> Buddy, fluids are done. So now we have one more thing, and then we get to go home. Are you excited? You ready to go home? What are we gonna do when we go home? We to go. Oh my gosh, look who made it home at the same time we did! So crazy. Dada! Hey, girly! <laughs> Zeke's right here. So classy, boxed mac and cheese, chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A, and a burrata plate. Wow. Okay, we are just finishing up this fry out. Daddy. <laughs> okay, so we are just spending the rest of this night. Hi. I owe my mom, my mom. I see this all day. She's letting you know that she has her cheetahs on, her, her cheetah print. 
um, and then she has hair and a nose. So there's so much noise happening because we're just hanging out as a fam. We're gonna go to bed soon. <laughs> wow. We're gonna go to bed soon. Um, the kids and and probably the adults. I mean, Bryce and I are gonna shower, but. And then we're just gonna spend the rest of the night reading and then going to bed. I mean, so that's Valley Cam. Okay, say night night. Night night. Um, so much for winding the kids down. Seems like Dad is just winding the kids up before bed. It's continuing. Okay, Bryson is making the chemo. This is Zofran. Never mind, he's making Zofran. This is pre -key. The pre chemo. Gotta label this cutter so we know. This is only for 6 TP. Bryce's gotta don the gloves so that he can cut up the pill. Don't mind him, he's just singing Creed. So this is the Zofran. And we will, in order to get him to take it, we will put it in a little bit of snow cone syrup, of all things. And so, he'll take it that way. It's covered up in there. The chemo is it's in this applesauce, applesauce okay. bite. Mm. You think it's the water? You're doing really good, bud. You want this one? I want you to do it. You want me to do it? See if I can do it while looking behind the camera. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> close your mouth around it, Goose. <laughs> too close, too close. Mm. What a rigmarole. Okay. Done. We have an extra medicine tomorrow, but for tonight we are done. We did it. We survived the day. Bryson, showering right now. I'm in a shower. Obviously this hair needs some severe help and uh then we're gonna get in bed and i'm gonna read bryson's probably gonna watch youtube but we're gonna be in bed so we will see you tomorrow for day two of this weekend <laughs>
And so it usually happens pretty fast if it's going to happen. So it's already started. He's totally, they said he would probably be completely himself, but his, his appetite would just disappear. So he is his funny, goofy self, um, but has no appetite. What do you, do you have the horn? It lives on people. The horn lives on. She's my last, my last baby. I'm just trying to soak it up. Oh, I always sit in this chair in the morning. Bryson's doing the dishes. Oh, yeah, Valley has a passy. Who's that for? Addie. It's Addie's passy. Can I have it? Thank you. Okay, there we go. Is that mine? Is what yours? You see you? Okay. Okay, so Zeke is currently working on Legos that he got from the hospital yesterday. I can't remember if I told you it or not. So if I did tell you, I will cut this portion out. But he gets like Henry Bucks for Hope for Henry is an organization that gives Henry Bucks for any time you have like a milestone in chemo. And so he has about $200 in Henry Bucks. So he's been ordering, um, well, Bryson and Zeke have been getting together and talking about um Legos that Zeke wants, so he has been ordering Lego Ninjagas. No, Valley, uh -uh. don't touch. Uh, Lego Ninjagos, Ninjago Legos. I don't know how you say it. I don't know. It's the Ninja Legos show. He so he's been ordering that. Um, so he's working on that right now. <laughs> the girls were playing in their room, but now they're not. Um, I always sit in this seat because. <laughs> I can see into their room and also can see like the entirety of the living room. So it just like allows me to watch them. Lifeguard on duty. Lifeguard on duty is what Bryson just said. And the sun is like streaming through, hence all the lines. I think that we should get a disco ball for this corner. So that way whenever the windows are open and the light comes in, the disco ball goes off. But Bryson is like so against it. Stop. He never wants to go with my fun ideas. Oh, Okay, so what's happening today? Well, we're um, we blew up the pool, so we're gonna do the pool at some point. Hold on, I need to fix this. I go. Bring me the rest. Um, we don't have to help with Legos for the most part, but uh, there are some parts that do require help. Nose, yeah. Do you have a nose? She's letting you know that she has a nose, and she has eyes, and she's literally shoving her whole finger in her eye. Okay, this is becoming a very long segment. Um, today, Bryson and I will each take a couple of hours to ourselves. So Bryson will go somewhere in the morning and then I'll go somewhere in the afternoon. Um, and then we blew up the pool and filled it up and are letting it warm up in the sun. And then so we'll do that this evening. And then I'm making steak kebabs for dinner. So we were invited to go to the splash pad today, but I think just with Zeke's state, his immune system is going to be very, very low. So we're just not going to risk it. Okay, sorry for the terrible lighting, but we're off to have fun. Say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Pineapple or watermelon or whatever and like watermelon is like a thing in her household. She never puts it all in the trash um, She always puts it in like grocery bags because it takes up so much space in her trash can and We have one of those simply human trash cans, which are like, you know expensive trash bags for the most part so I do what she does and I just use a grocery bag you can learn a lot from your mother-in-law if you just kind of die to yourself, okay? Trust me, your mother-in-law, she knows some things. She knows some things that can make your life a whole lot easier. So just listen to her and learn from her, that's all I'm saying. I can't tell if Addie is dropping it on the ground or if she's eating it, so I'm not gonna give her very much, but the other kids are eating their watermelon. Sorry, I literally thought she just dropped it on the floor. She has not. No, you have water on the I want more. 
my mother-in-law had four kids. The first three were all very close in age, like ours. And so that woman, she knows some things. So I listened to her. It's good. I literally just added blueberries for the color because <laughs> it was so ugly. Um, it really just tastes like a glorified strawberry banana smoothie with a side of pineapple. I'm gonna leave the rest in the fridge for when the kids are ready for it. And then when Bryson gets home, it'll be, I'm sure, nice for him to have a little cool treat. packed up an Americano, a little snack. I have my little butterfly chair if I need it. And uh, I'm gonna go to a college campus that's not far from here and just, that just feels like a good place to go for right now. So Clouds roll over the sun, it's like ugh, perfect. Um, these seats are so funny, they're like a chair and a half. So it's like the perfect, like one person seat. Something that's always so hard is really wanting to be able to go to a coffee shop, go out and buy food. On the most stage of life, we just like don't have the financial margin for it. So we do, you know, the best that we can to try to like do free things when we have time like obviously we spent money on chick-fil-a yesterday and that was kind of like the only money that we had allocated for eating out for this week some seasons of life you just gotta make do with what you gotta do so i'm gonna stay out here for maybe another 45 minutes to an hour and then i'll head back and we'll start working on dinner we'll do the pool with the kids it'll be like a whole a whole show I'm back for my time and I am going to get tonight's dinner marinated. Um, we're doing steak skewers with rice and some roasted veggies and peanut sauce. So I'm gonna get that, this is inside it. Okay, I'm gonna get <laughs> that marinated and then um, we're all gonna put on our bathing suits and go get in the pool. Let's go. But the secret I've Sad? Yeah. Do we need to take my bandaid Got a little pool basket. Show off your pool basket, boy. Hey, you. Because even if you're at home, if you have small kids. Always come prepared. Always come prepared. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we're done. Had a good time. We're in there for a little over an hour. 
So I'm gonna finish clean up. Bryson's giving the kids a bath and then I'm gonna start dinner. Doesn't take much for this hair to be wild. So uh, food's done. Sorry, I didn't film any of it. It's just a little crazy around here at dinner time right now. We are gonna do Zeke's shot and then I'm gonna make plates. I'll give you an update after that. Nothing humbles you more than cooking a good meal and your kids don't eat it. I ate it. The baby ate it. This girl, she did not eat her meal. I want mommy. <laughs> did our first shot at home. How'd you feel about it? I felt like it was pretty easy. I, I was the one giving the shot. You did all the work, yeah. I was did. also taught by one of the nurses yep. at Shoah, so it also gave me confidence to go into the shot. Yeah. It was harder for me. I don't like watching him get super upset like that, but it is what it is. We only have a couple more this week and then a couple more in a couple days. We have like a week of them. We'll just say that. And then he wanted to go to bed early tonight. He wasn't feeling very good. Pretty much didn't eat any meals this week, this day. Yeah. So that was hard, but they did warn us about that, as I've already mentioned. And so now we're just gonna eat a giant chocolate chip cookie and chill. And that is the end of our weekend. Thank you so much for being here. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.